unintentional game mechanics. They are so much fun. Why are they so much fun? Let's talk about that. Now let me tell you what I mean when I say unrealistic game mechanics. You can be playing a game, right? You're going along, cha cha cha, pew pew pew, and you look over and you go, wow, I don't think the developers meant for that to look like that. And what I thought was so interesting is people will go out of their way to experience these unintentional game mechanics. So I did some research for why, and that's the point of this video. So to answer this, my primary subject is going to be Hitman 2. It's a stealth game that goes for a relatively realistic approach. It can take about 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes even more, to complete a level when you take your stealthy time. But in the end, when you see that beautiful 5-star rating, it's all worth it. With everything working how it's intended, the game is phenomenal. However, sometimes when games are not working how they are intended, they can be even more fun. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. In Hitman 2, there's a briefcase, right? You pick it up, you throw it, and it acts like that. Just to clarify, the glitch here is that the briefcase is moving very slowly. And it, it it's pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie. You can do some pretty crazy stuff with it. You can hit a guy around a door. You can just hit a dude that's on the ground over and over. I don't really think that's like part of the glitch, but I do do that a lot. But all this got me thinking, why am I getting so much fun out of this? If the game's focus is to be realistic, why am I having so much fun doing something that was never intended in the first place? To answer this, I'm going to talk about something you might be able to relate to. Have you ever met somebody that talks like this? So I walked up to a bleeping unicorn the other day and it bleeping told me, get your bleeping bleep out of my bleep and bleep and bleep bleep. It really doesn't carry much weight. And then when someone who never swears suddenly drops a fat Swiss burger, everyone's like, whoa, I'm really gonna pay attention to what this guy's saying. And I know what you're thinking. Nate, we love your channel and we're gonna sub right now. I appreciate that. But you might also be thinking, Nate, what does swearing have to do with unrealistic game mechanics? It is the scarcity of something that makes it unique. You see this all the time with loot boxes. Something doesn't need to be good looking or smell like roses or anything. It just needs to be rare and then it'll become sought after because nobody's got it and everyone wants what nobody else has. So in a game that's focus is realism, you're gonna go out of your way to do something unrealistic. Now that's what I thought, but I was thinking, what do I other people think so I contacted a couple friends of mine and I said yo what do you think I don't know like how to describe it but it's just sort of like human psychology if something's just so common it's sort of your brain just doesn't care about it or notice it but then if it's rare then it's like whoa well thank you I really appreciate your input what about you wolf people will exploit anything in games i've learned that a little fun fact did you know that rocket jumping was originally in quake and it was an unintentional feature but they left it in because they had fun with it now what makes this interesting too is there are some games that have realized this that people like to ignore any rules that there are and go out of their way to experience something new that they create on their own that's why games like gary's mod goat simulator what have you have done so well because they allow you to do whatever you want there's no rules in the first place to break and you can mod the game as much as you want so games like that have become wildly popular because of the no rules formula now this was just a little video of me sharing my opinions on unintentional game mechanics what drives us to experience it and at the end of my research for this I kind of made up a little thesis thing, and I would like to read it to you if you don't mind. <laughs> Many people who play games play to experience something that could never happen. Whether it be slaying demons in hell, becoming the fastest race car driver in the world, or creating order out of chaos. And I believe it is this initial desire to experience something beyond the rules of reality that drives so many gamers to test the boundaries of what is possible. Can I get a round of applause? Well, that's just what I think. If you disagree with me or if you agree with me, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear your input on this. If you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and drop a subscribe. I'd love it. Or maybe like this video. It really helps me out. Please. Oh!